Hey, hey, hey. Aloha Friday, my friends. Here it is. Aloha Friday, February 3rd. Quick update on the old Apple. Yesterday, I set up a limit order to close this deep in the money put I sold. I think I sold it around, I don't know, what was it? Uh, 32 something like that and you see it closed out here at uh, 29 and if I'm understanding this correctly I think, uh, I think it made me about uh, two uh, six six uh, twenty one we have some losses over here that I believe are reflecting boom right here now this originally started out as a naked call at the 150 strike price, but back here on January 31st, I covered this position with 100 shares, right? Concerned that maybe Apple was going to go over 150 and to meet my obligation, I dug into my simulated trading cash reserves here and anteed up about uh, fourteen thousand dollars to purchase a hundred shares of stock which ultimately uh, because I have this uh, this money here in the paper trading account to purchase a hundred shares of Apple is going to be uh, more lucrative than just making 35 bucks right because now I'm making 35 bucks and then I bought a hundred shares at 143.99 and I will be selling those shares at one hundred and fifty dollars per share uh, so what's the moral to the story hey if you don't have a hundred thousand dollars in your trading account then figure out some stocks that are in your price range that if you're going to be selling naked call options uh, you could potentially cover that position and turn it into uh, a covered call. And even further, why not sell the naked calls on a stock that you'd like to own just in case you do cover it, you have the money in your account to cover it, and you want to buy the company anyways. So that way, if it doesn't go over your strike price, you're not stuck holding 100 shares or whatever, 200 shares, 500 shares, 5 million shares of stock that of some crappy company that you don't really want to own anyways. The other ones, uh, I, got a, I got a naked call option sold here on Healy. Helen of Troy. And uh, right now it's really, it's really going against me. And where is it at? I got it at 135. It's going against me as far as uh, like here in the negative. And uh, Mark is at uh, 120. And we got 13 days. So I'll have to start watching that a little closer. See if I'm going to end up doing the same thing. I did this instead of uh, uh, short selling the stock just to test it out because uh, I was listening to some information. And it seems like this company overall. Uh, from for my take on it, I was in agree agreeance that, uh, oh, it's only a matter of time where this company kind of falls apart. But uh, short term, it can it can stay solvent, right? Anyways, uh, some other ones. Um, I think uh, I might have told you about those at the four minute mark. Getting ready, boom! It's gonna pop up right here. Get ready, boom! All right, there's a playlist popped up that will tell you. Uh, it'll be the part two of the video of using the VIX to sell options, which. Uh, which most of these were done with from that part two video you can watch part one I apologize it's in that order it's just the way things are at the moment but um, I would have closed these out with hindsight it was the first time I ever put put um, these on this one this one this one this one and this one I would have closed those out probably about two weeks or so into the trade I'm letting them ride right now just to kind of see what happens but um, that's one thing that uh, that I learned in a, in a real life scenario, I probably would have closed those out because there's one time this one was like was two thousand six hundred dollars in a profit. Now look look at this overall, it's it's down like by two thousand bucks. So most of them are are down, but that's that's how you learn, right? That's why you paper trade. You learn these these different things because uh, 
you know, these people making YouTube videos like how I made blah, 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 doing blah, 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 in only this blah, 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 short amount of time. All right, that's great for getting YouTube clicks. It really is. It's some great clickbait, isn't it? It's a different story when you got to take that money that you've been working whatever 40 60 70 hours a week for and uh, it's either gonna be traded off to another trader right because if this goes sour you you like that you like giving away two thousand dollars you thought you're gonna get rich and stop working on one trade and giving away two thousand dollars how's that sit so uh, don't be don't be fooled by those by those uh, those yahoos a lot of those a lot of those people's unless you're gonna um, pay a CPA to do a uh, personal financial audit of them and you want it verified by the CPA just because someone's flapping their lips and hot air is coming out and, th and they know how to edit videos very well doesn't mean they know how to trade no matter how confident they may seem with that you guys have a fantastic night I will talk to you later